Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to put some shine at our good friends over at Instant Gaming as they've got a lot of newer games and older titles of course uh, discounted heavily. Steam keys on all of these games got about 10 or 11 deals to go over so let's just get right into it and if you do buy anything links to all of these in the description box below. Your boy does get a bit of an affiliate commission, so that is much appreciated. Right off the top, nobody wants to die. $18.39 for this. This is a shorter investigation-style game. But getting a little bit of buzz, definitely on my radar, has been in my wish list. Kind of tempted to check it out for $18.39. I think this is a great price point. Um, Just bear in mind, this is very much a shorter game. But for me, these days, right now, guys, I'm playing through Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak. That game is like 9 million hours long. A five to seven hour game is exactly what I'm going to play after that. Um, and nobody wants to die might exactly be that. So I want to give mention to that. Little Kitty Big City down to sub 10 bucks. Yo, this is a damn good deal for a game that is still a relatively recent release. Sub $10, uh, you know, charming game as far as accessibility and everything like that goes. Definitely a game that if you want to play with a, uh, you know, like your child or a younger sibling, whatever the case may be. Or if it's just a game to introduce somebody to video games, I feel like this is going to be a pretty good shout. Stray, also a good shout as far as that's concerned. 913, goodbye there. I uh, wanted to mention Grey Zone Warfare, not my cup of tea, but 1921 on that if you do want to check that out. Bow Path of the Teal Lotus, another game that just came out that is certainly going to be um, on my wish list and a game that I want to play in the very near future. 1469 on this, obviously. The Metroidvania market is incredibly competitive. There's a lot of high quality titles, but I feel like Bow Path of the Teal Lotus did a really good job standing out from a visual standpoint. And uh, yeah, definitely caught my eye whenever uh, I initially saw the game. $14.69, good price on that. So those are the new, new releases. Now let's go over some deals that just, you know, anybody that's into good video games is probably going to like. No Man's Sky, which probably could go into the new video game release category. $19.91 on that. Really good price for No Man's Sky, and this is a game that, again, you pick it up now, you are going to be, you know, kind of investing into an experience that's just going to get better and better. No Man's Sky, when you buy it, yes, you are getting a high-quality game when you buy it, but you know you're going to be getting free update after free update with this game as well. As I've said before, survival games aren't my cup of tea, but the fact is, No Man's Sky is a game that even I have to step back and be like, what Hello Games has accomplished, the turnaround that they have made since 2016 is remarkable. Eight years later, and this game is orders of magnitude better than what it initially was, and it's just tremendous what they've been uh, able to do. Is it perfect? I, again, I can't really speak on it. Survival games is not my wheelhouse. Crafting, all that, not my wheelhouse. But this is legitimately the second greatest comeback in video game history behind Final Fantasy XIV. Nothing's going to trump Final Fantasy XIV if you really look into that story. Um, but No Man's Sky is pretty remarkable what they've accomplished. And it's only going to get better and better. And sub-20 bucks, I think that's a great price, definitely. One worthwhile to check out. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, $48.01. Look, there's going to be a lot of Sony titles mentioned in this video. I've crapped on Sony quite a lot, but at the end of the day, their first party titles are still exactly what I want out of my video games. And you can call me a low IQ dweeb. You can call me whatever. Yeah, Sony titles definitely do fit the for uh, fit a certain formula. They're big budget first party titles, I should say, but that's the exact kind of formula I like out of my video games. Ghost of Tsushima is absolutely tremendous. You know, PlayStation account linking for the Legends component aside, it does run on your portable gaming platforms. You just can't account link for, uh, what's it called? Ghost of Tsushima Legends, the multiplayer component on the Steam Deck. You can on ROG Ally since ROG Ally runs on Windows. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima itself, you, most of you guys are playing for the single player campaign and that portion is absolutely tremendous. Jin is one of the more compelling video game main characters, in my opinion. I just think he's incredibly uh, well-developed throughout the course of the game, and his evolution into the, uh, you know, proverbial uh, Ghost of Tsushima is very, very well done. Not a steep discount where it's $48, but it just came out. It's gonna hold up in price for quite a while, and you do get the Iki Island expansion, I would say, uh, have a look at it. It's a great time, so definitely worthwhile there. Horizon Zero Dawn, down to $9.25. Gotta give that a shot, uh, a shout, uh, I should say. Sub $10 for Horizon Zero Dawn is absolutely tremendous. And Zero Dawn is a game that I think is just so, so good in terms of 
you know, its narrative is incredibly strong. And I would say that it's quite a bit stronger than Forbidden West. Forbidden West just goes uh, a little bit off the rails. Let's just put it that way. But Zero Dawn, I mean, bro, you got robo dinosaurs you're fighting against. Like, the story's going to be a little out there. But uh, Zero Dawn just did a great job with how it unfolded the mystery as well throughout the backstory. Just really, really well done. You got Frozen Wilds here as well. 925, great price point for it. So definitely check that out. God of War 2018, 1862. God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok coming out. Yes, it's a single player game with PlayStation and Cowling, and what are you going to do? But God of War 2018 is tremendous. I preferred it over Ragnarok. I just think it's great. Um, you know, and probably a lot of that was because I was just so shocked at the shift from God of War before 2018 into what God of War 2018 was that, you know, God of War was never my favorite PlayStation franchise. It was one that I thought was a mindlessly fun action game, and that probably will vehemently enrage people because people think so highly about the original games, but I never did. But 2018 became more of an action RPG, so much more up my alley, really did enjoy it narratively as great as well. Dark Souls 3, 2374, it's Dark Souls 3. Outside of Bloodborne, this is my favorite From Software title. Uh, I am not the person to break down From Software games and tell you the, you know, thematics and all this. Like, I enjoy them for what they are. I'll usually play through them once and then I'll move on with my life. Although, these days, I am looking to go back and play through some of the From Soft titles, some of the older ones, as in DS1, 2, 3. Um... But, yeah, 2374 on that, not a bad pickup there. DS2, 1483, again, from software games generally hold up in price. Get them a little bit cheaper at Instant Gaming. Dying Light 2, Stay Human Reloaded Edition, 68% off for 2084. Good price on Dying Light 2, wish it would get a little bit cheaper, but this does include the Bloody Ties Story DLC, and I did enjoy Dying Light 2, not as much as Dying Light 1, as I've said, but Dying Light 2 still offers a enjoyable open world to explore. You've got a lot of chaos going on, and the combat not as good, in my opinion, but still pretty good. Narratively, starts off really good, and then kind of just falls off a cliff in the second half, but... What can you do? 2084 for it, I think, is a pretty good pickup. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, $26.85. Yes, this game initially came out at this point. You know, if you're talking about the original Spider-Man on PS4 in 2018, six years ago. I believe it was September of 2018. Uh, but the game is tremendous. I loved it. I've beaten this game three times on PC. And uh, just the other day, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do some web swinging. Kind of want to do some web swinging. But, you know, cooler heads prevailed. And I'm like, bro, you got other games to play. But the game is tremendous. Loved it. PC port's great. $26.85 does also include the Never uh, City That Never Sleeps DLC. Heavy Rain, lastly, $3.80. Pretty good deal on Heavy Rain. Game certainly shows its age, but if you're looking for an interactive thriller, um, a narrative-based uh, title, Heavy Rain's a pretty good one. I think for some 4 bucks, it's a great pickup, and uh, definitely would recommend it at that low of a price point. And uh, obviously, I'm sure you guys have all heard, Jason, but, uh, you know... Yeah, play the game for what it is, and it's a pretty good time, all things considered. Shows its age a little bit. Quantic Dream games are always going to have that element to it, but, you know, for 380, I think it's a great pickup. But that'll do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals from our good friends at Instant Gaming. Check out the links in the description box below. That is going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.